first few pictures that open Paul Strand's book on Paesia of the River Po. They're establishing shots that show the wide basin of the river as it flows past the town. It was a place that people used to come to from Lidzara to escape their working lives and uh, stay there and look out to, at the water. Strand worked in America up until the 1940s and increasingly he was feeling like the political climate in America in the 1940s was challenging his, his personal beliefs. He was a socialist, he was committed to socialist ideas. So when he met the uh, script writer Cesare Zavattini, he uh, was persuaded to go to Luzzara, which is a, a, a small village in the north of Italy by Zavattini who had grown up there and who knew people there and was embedded in the community. Strand photographed here 65 years ago and he photographed a group of men playing cards outside. The book that the picture eventually appeared in was only produced in a thousand copies so it was quite expensive to buy. Very few people in the town could afford to buy it. In fact it was the cost of about 10% uh, of an annual wage which was the same as what you might pay to buy a second-hand bicycle. Strand uh, described how he would go and, uh, stand in the, the main square of the town and almost wait until people got used to him being there so that they almost didn't notice him anymore. And in that way he could become part of the lifeblood of the town and begin to really understand the character of the place and the characters of the people. This is the central square in Luzara, one of the main cafes. Strand photographed a group of men gathering to talk outside and uh, it's still here today. It's a town built on agriculture, on the production of Parmesan cheese, on hat making, and on the production of bridles. These are the things that you see that crop up throughout the book, but you also get this personal stories of the people who are trying to survive in post-war Italy. This is Strand's most famous picture from the Luzzara project it's called The Family which appears also on the, on the cover of the book. It's a beautifully composed but highly staged photograph. So there's a mother standing in the doorway with her five sons. The missing father in the picture was killed during the war. It's to do with family relationships and the dynamics of a family and the close-knit community that survives even through hardship. And so it, it comes across as a uh, a document of a moment in time in a particular place with particular people. But what Strand managed to do, I guess, is that he, he made that particular place stand for an entire country, but he also was interested in the deep humanity of people across the globe. So the, the character, the local character of those people is very specific to Lutzara, but it's something that he sees as connecting all of humanity.